Well, we're tracking some light snow showers moving across our area that could cause a couple little glitches here and there early this evening before the big storm arrives later this week. HD Doppler shows the light snow showers in our area right now. And again, that'll be uh, probably a dusting to maybe a coating of snow in some spots through the early evening hours and then finally tapering off uh, during the uh, overnight and early morning. But the big storm is uh, still a couple days away, so right now it's just sort of a minor nuisance little weather disturbance tracking through. But again, possibility that you could pick up a light coating of snow. If we switch our maps over to Weather 1 now, you'll see the temperatures are certainly cold enough. And with all the cold air we've had recently, the ground is frozen. So this little weather disturbance this evening could coat the ground with a light dusting. And that's why the Weather Service has a winter weather advisory from Howard and Anne Arundel counties point south into southern Maryland. The system should uh, scoot through fairly quickly overnight, but be careful, there could be a slick spot or two. In fact, some of the computer models are generating a dusting to an inch or so in some spots tonight. Cold night tonight, 18 to 25, but the wind's not too bad, just out of the northwest at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Here's the beginning development stages of our weekend storm that could become a real big one as it makes its track down through the deep south and then up the eastern seaboard from around Dallas Thursday morning over toward Birmingham and then into north of Atlanta. And that's where the original storm kind of fades away Friday evening with a new one taking shape near Charleston, South Carolina, and it's the one on the coast that has the potential to dump some heavy snow here in the mid-Atlantic region as it rides up through the Outer Banks and then heads for perhaps the eastern tip of Long Island over the upcoming weekend. If it stays on that track, then we are on the colder western side where a heavy snowfall is possible. And again, keep in mind, this goes through early morning Sunday. So that means beginning Friday night through all day Saturday, Saturday night, and the last flakes falling sometime early Sunday morning. By then, we could have a 12 to 24 inch snowfall west of the bay and 24 to 30 inches out in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia. So it looks like that's where the heaviest part of the storm will be, higher elevations where it stays all snow. Closer to the coast with the winds coming in off the warm ocean waters, uh, that's where there'll be a mix of snow, sleet, maybe even some just plain old rain on the beach. And so the snowfall totals will be cut down a little, but even in those areas, a significant snowfall before that mix happens. So here's the weak little weather disturbance passing through tonight, then tomorrow, Sunny sky, so a good day to just kind of prepare and get ready uh, with the sunshine out there. Probably temperatures even above freezing tomorrow. Friday, it looks like the snow arrives in Baltimore after sunset and with any luck after the evening rush hour. Then the snow gets heavy at times late Friday night into Saturday. Gusty winds could create blizzard conditions at times during the day Saturday. And then the storm begins to lift up toward New England Saturday night. So blizzard watches are in effect, but not until Friday night and Saturday. Tomorrow should be a decent day with sunshine and temperatures in the 30s. The normal high is at 41. Mountain forecast, well, they're going to pick up some snow as well beginning Friday afternoon and continuing into the weekend. Eastern shore locations, sunshine tomorrow, temperatures above freezing. Snow arrives Friday evening. Coastal areas, including the Maryland beaches, 37 tomorrow, snow moving in Friday night. Very windy at the beach as the storm passes by on Saturday. Insta Weather Plus 7 day then, there it is, right on Saturday is the main part of the storm. Leaves us Sunday, a dry day Monday, and another weaker storm arriving on Tuesday.